It's commonly known that improving your FPS will make you a better player. Almost every pro nowadays can run upwards to 300 FPS in game which gives them a massive advantage against other players. However, if you're like me, you don't have the money to buy the best new PC parts like Clicks and Mr. Savage do every time their game crashes. So in this video I'm going to teach you the best 3 tricks I've learned to boost my FPS in Fortnite. However, this video is not going to be like other FPS guides because this video is going to be short to save you time and the trick aren't going to be basic knowledge like in other videos. If you are watching this video, I'm going to assume that you know how to optimize your windows for gaming and you know the best Fortnite settings, but if that's something that you want to see, make sure to comment below so that I can make a video on that in the future. Last thing before we get started, all of these tricks require that you restart your PC before launching Fortnite, so make sure to complete the whole video before restarting. So this first tip is something that I just learned that will help boost the power of your CPU's processing speed. For this, we need to first start in the task manager and move over to the performance section. Then click on the CPU and look at the amount of cores and local processors. Keep in mind how many it says you have before we optimize it. Now go into your system configuration, slide to the boot section, and click on advanced options. If the number of processors has a check in the box, then you want to make sure that you uncheck it. This will allow your PC to choose the amount of processors that is optimal for your CPU and oftentimes use cores you never had access to before. Then restart your PC and go back into the task manager. And then click on the performance section. Look at the amount of cores you have now. For me, when I first did this trick, it doubled the amount of cores I had, which boosted my FPS a lot. For this next trick, we're going to limit what apps are allowed to open when you restart your PC. This will help you control the amount of extra systems taking usage of your CPU away from Fortnite. First, go into your task manager and find the section that says startup. In here, we can see exactly what apps are allowed to open as soon as you restart your PC, and we can see how big of an impact they have on your CPU. I suggest that you find every app that has a high impact and make sure that it is disabled. And if you want to even go further, you can disable all apps so you know exactly what you have open after you restart your PC. The final tip to help me boost my FPS in Fortnite is optimizing my storage drives. This will make sure that you have the least input delay between CPU and your Fortnite files. To do this, we need to go into your storage settings and windows. Next, we're going to scroll down to the optimized drivers and click on this section. From here, if you're like me and you have two different drives, you can see them both on your computer. We're going to want to click on the one that has Fortnite downloaded on it. This should be your SSD. Then hit the optimize button and wait until it's complete. Once it is finished, hit close and you're ready to restart your PC. If you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.